Welcome to the most versatile and popular of all hydraulic bolting tools, the Avanti. Modern industrial bolting demands power, accuracy, and versatility, all in a compact, rugged package. That's what you get with the Avanti square drive line from High Torque. And because it carries the High Torque name, you know it is made with the finest of materials, fit, and finish that 40 years of innovation and excellence can produce. Let's take a closer look at the Avanti and point out some of its award-winning features. Then let's put it to work. Like all high-torque square drive tools, the body of the Avanti is machined from a solid block of titanium aluminum alloy that gives it the strength of steel at half the weight. Each angle and contour of the radius, throat, and head of the tool has been carefully designed for maximum accessibility, even in the tightest spaces. What sets the Avanti apart is an ingenious double-spline concentric reaction system which avoids passing torsion forces through the tool during tightening, allows the tool to reach nuts in places where standard wrenches could not safely react, and ensures that the reaction forces remain solidly in the plane of the nut. The detachable safety handle adjusts to any position to keep the operator's hands out of danger. Let's take a look at the Avanti in action. Before we begin, we should first put on our personal protective equipment. At a minimum, this should include safety glasses with side shields, sturdy gloves and steel-toed shoes. Of course, job conditions and local work rules may require other safety equipment, such as hearing protection, face shields, hard hats, and fire or chemical resistant clothing. Nothing is as important or as urgent as your safety. Check the condition of the hoses, connectors, and general condition of the tool and accessories for any obvious damage. Any defects must be corrected before pressurizing the system. As with all high torque wrenches, the Avanti comes in a range of sizes to tackle virtually any bolting challenge from the smallest to the largest. Each size is assigned a number corresponding to that tool's maximum torque output in thousands of foot-pounds at the maximum pump pressure of 10,000 psi. So at maximum pump pressure, the Avanti 3 will deliver approximately 3,000 foot-pounds of torque, while the Avanti 5 will produce 5,000 foot-pounds at the same pressure due to its larger size. The Avanti 3 has a 1-inch square drive, while the 5 has an inch and a half drive to handle the higher torque without damage. Knowing the torque range of each tool in advance makes it easy to choose the right model for the job at hand. The Avanti is powered by hydraulic oil from a pressure regulated pump system connected to the tool by special high test hoses. Note that both the male and female unions feature a small spring loaded check ball which must be fully seated for the oil to pass. Ensure that the hydraulic hoses are firmly screwed to the uniswivel using only finger-tight force. Even the slightest loosening of the threaded connector will shut off the flow of oil, preventing a high-pressure leak that could otherwise be dangerous to the operator. Do not defeat this important safety feature by substituting other connectors that may not be rated for these 10,000 PSI pressures. Let's assume that the job at hand is tightening this inch and a half grade B7 stud and two and three eighths inch nut using this Avanti 3. And let's further assume that the target torque for this bolt is 1,030 foot-pounds. As the term foot-pound implies, that is a tightening force equal to 1,030 pounds at the end of a one foot long bar. That's a lot of torque. Since the output torque of the tool is set by regulating the pump pressure, we must consult a pressure torque conversion chart for the specific tool we are using, in this case the Avanti 3. Reading down the foot-pound cut, we find 1026, which is very close to our target torque. Moving across to the left column, we find the corresponding pressure setting is 3400 psi. You can interpolate the values if your target number is not shown exactly. And the chart also allows you to convert torque in kilogram meters 
or newton meters to PSI or to pressure in bar if needed. Often, bolts are required to be tightened in increments rather than all at once. This is done by simply choosing a lower pressure corresponding to the percentage of final torque desired on each pass. Reset the pressure in stages until the final value is reached, but for our demonstration we will simply tighten to the target torque without any intermediate steps. With the pump set at 3,400 PSI, we are ready to go to work. The socket and drive should be inserted so that the word tighten can be read on the opposite side of the tool. Since the drive is offset from the piston, when viewed from above the socket, the advancing piston will turn the drive and socket clockwise, tightening the nut. Attach the safety handle to avoid any pinch danger. Place the tool on the application, checking to make sure that the reaction point is secure, the wrench is fully engaged, and the hoses are not in danger of being kinked or damaged. It's a good idea to bump the control button before starting to tighten, just to check how the wrench will react under pressure. Ratchet the wrench until it stalls at the preset pressure and the nut will no longer turn. Be patient on the last few strokes as the socket will move very slowly. If in doubt, always try another stroke. Remove and reposition the wrench on the next nut to be tightened and proceed with your bolting plan. When removing a nut or bolt, we are not concerned with an exact torque value, only that our tool has sufficient power to break it loose. Turn the pressure up on the pump to at or near maximum, giving the wrench its full power. Reverse the direction of the Avanti by inserting the drive in the other side of the tool, so that the word loosen can be read on the side opposite the socket. Fit the wrench, once again checking the reaction point and the hoses for proper position. Bump the button and observe the wrench to make sure it is secure. Press and hold the actuator button until the nut moves counterclockwise. Continue to loosen it until it can be removed by hand. If the nut will not move at 10,000 PSI, you will need a larger wrench with more power. So there you have it, the state of the art in reliable, accurate hydraulic power. Please ask your local high torque representative to demonstrate the Avanti on your applications and let you take it for a test drive.